in the automotive arts since the motor stick.
Boeing in the centre. Here comes. Uh, <laughs> Should be Logan Watson unless he's let the dog go. this final run, two of the more unusual times of the event running on the road together there. So this fourth humor.
leader of Group N after the first two uh, official runs. Hi, I'm Natasha Farnham. I'm here at the 90 by Vaucluse stage. Um, this corner in particular, I find most of the people are coming off the throttle and easing through here, but it is um, very gravelly and uh, there's freshly cut grass on the stage right now as well. I'm looking forward to the cars improving their speed and their times as they come through and get more and more used to the stage. No, I, I, think, I think so far really that um, the run has been good. The drivers obviously would want to preserve their cars for next week, so no one is going to try anything stupid or try to go too fast or try to damage their cars. But so far, so good. I think the crowd is enjoying it. I certainly am enjoying it, and um, I look forward to the remainder of the day and to Rally Barbados next weekend. Wilson <laughs> Impreza WRC S14 <laughs>
Woolworth in eighth for his Times Roger the Sheriff Skeet. <laughs> This year, Badman, Mr. Ski is number one, followed by Mr. Bourne. The rest go play catch up. And, and, and the two wheel drive category, we have um, a carrier, but he never of the pit bull. We can bite them up, bad, 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 bad. You understand? Know All the rest behind there go play catch up too. I don't know if you're going to want any salt, pepper sauce, or mayonnaise. <laughs> Hi, Jeffrey Pandor from Jamaica. The Today was uh, basically a learning experience for us, driving the car for the first time on tarmac. But um, I think we did quite well given the competition that's here where you know, all the times are very, very close between the WRC cars. So um, it's, it was very promising to say the least. Uh, coming off of Rally Trinidad, finishing second on the gravel the first time in the car and then coming here and being immediately on the pace on the tarmac shows great promise for the car um, and the team. So. Hopefully next week for Rally Barbados we'll be able to step up the pace even more and um, hopefully good things will come from it. Today was good for us. We set, um, I think we set a good time on the uh, first official run. Uh, and Bird, Bird did some very impressive times the second and third time round. Uh, Roger was right there as well. So I think we're currently... Um, second for today with Bird being first and Roger Skeet being second. Our whole game plan was just to um, be on the pace and see where our times were today compared to Roger and Paul. Unfortunately Paul didn't have a good day. Sean Gill had a good day and um, where I was surprised to see how quickly that Jeffrey has settled into his new ride but then that's Jeffrey and he's a, he's a, he's a phenomenal driver. So we're happy with the car. The car performed perfectly. We didn't have any troubles really today and um, I'm very happy with it. So we'll see how we will attack next week and um, we'll see how it goes. Barry Mayer is a Toyota Starlet. Roger Mayer is Toyota Starlet. Uh, we had a pretty good day, pretty terrible day should I say today. We had clutch failure and he practiced run. The car we um, had some trans gearbox problems in the last event and we tried to fix that and I think we've got it sorted but unfortunately we had then clutch problems today. Car was feeling okay but um, still some tweaking to do and hopefully we'll get the clutch sorted for next weekend. Uh, yeah basically the nutty weekend we're gonna get a new clutch fitted into it uh, and uh, I think we were on the right path today with the car. Uh, it, it, it certainly was feeling better than it has in the past couple of events. Uh, and with the times that we'd set in the practice run which we got to do, things are looking good and I think next weekend it's just going to be maximum attack from the get-go and uh, you know, stir up, stir up the trouble in the two-wheel drive uh, group. E immense competition, I mean I think that there are probably 15 cars, 15 two-wheel drive cars are in the mix, you know, there's so many two-wheel drive cars locally and have come in and it's, you know, immense competition. I don't think we've ever seen this much competition in a two-wheel drive class ever. Yeah. So it's, 
I mean, at the end of the day, what the rally is going to be next weekend is about getting to the end because it's not going to be winning the rally in the first stage, for sure. Um, I just see it going from strength to strength. I think that what's going to happen is that it's going to slowly evolve uh, from these four-wheel drive WRC cars into some two-wheel drive tarmac monsters because um, certainly uh, we got to watch some, some of the event today because uh, the car was broken down. And when the four-wheel drive cars come through, everybody is, you know, having a drink, liming, chilling out. When the two-wheel drive cars arrive on the scene, it is hands in the air, cheering, everybody's freaking out. And I think that, I, I, I guess I could foresee that that's the way it's going to go. Um, everybody just loves these high-revving, screaming tarmac monsters. Uh, we've had a pretty fraught day <coughs> with the, with the um, car. Our initial run was pretty okay. It was okay, but the first official... Second official, we were experiencing some problems with um, with the engine, specifically the ALS. So that was affecting our launch and all of our throttle response. But anyway, I think we have been able to solve that problem on the very last run, and uh, we've ended up second. So perhaps if we had had a less, a few problems less, we would have been slightly higher up. We don't know, but I must say, uh, Paul Bird did very well. Congratulations to him, but um, the coming rally and its 24 stages offer a whole different scenario with regard to being fastest on all. So we we'll have to wait and see now what happens on 9th and 10th, but I guess we'll find out who can sustain the uh, assault with a flat out mentality on all, <coughs> all 24 of those stages. You never watch a rest in the shell shelf that day. The sheriff always punt up. If you watch a wrestling and go on the car, that's a cowboy thing. That's a wrestling. A wrestling always be the sheriff. Today, the sheriff just give me less work than before. But next week, I got rare work. He then shoot some people, I didn't hang off the rest. <laughs> no, nobody come to the base to beat Paul Bourne, but it's going to beat the sheriff. And I'm the, I'm the deputy. Let my shirt look. Oh, Jesus. I'm the deputy. Oh, no. right. Right. Nothing they ask the boss for. He always gives me. I asked him to win this one and then I didn't I get this one. Here, my turn be hit. The boys know the sheriff. If the, if the sheriff said the deputy, I will shoot you too. I <laughs> remember that. We the bad boys in town. And you watch the real wrestling, the sheriff's on dead. He may get a shot and wounded. But when he come out, shoot everybody in the up. Yeah, everybody in the Sheriff the bad boy. Look. If you watch the, the sheriff yellow shirts from there right down to so we got them there. Paul Bourne, Bird, nobody will never got them raised. The children of grand, children of grandfather will never got them. You say, Bird, I'm going to block the bird. <laughs> when it's done with the bird, he's got no, got no feathers at all. Here be a bird from overseas that have no feathers. Trust me. Yeah, see the, see the boss, the boss, but no, say again. <laughs> What do the boys do? I sell if I wait. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> yeah. I don't care what the boys do. He can't send me till he dead. How the boys dead? He can't send me on take her. <laughs> if the boys start racing, I dunk on racing. Trust me, I tell you. Let me just say, in all the other time we're racing, who got the most wins? The sheriff. The biggest fan in this country. Look. So they go home and look at your shirt, so I said, look, I just burn the shirt, you know. Watch this all up. One, two, three, 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 twelve. I said, really, boss? I said, yes, that's my boss. Nobody can't get out of here. I tell you. And his son, his son can't take over. His son will humbug some people. Show me back here, Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Look at it, man. Don't move yet. Don't move yet. I ain't moving yet. Paul! Paul! Paul, I sure know. Paul, I sure know. I show you the camera on the back of my shirt. <laughs> Don't make it run off anything. We sit too, but it's called a brace of collision. <laughs> <laughs> that landing gear, my friend. You done me yet? <laughs> you got me talking right down here? We're here, Rally Barbados, the crazy guys that brought a Lotus down to run over rough roads from uh, Turks and Caicos Islands and one guy from Canada. So this is Andy, my co-driver. Yeah, Andy Proudford from Newfoundland. 
You guys have rough roads down here. Can you guys not just maybe smooth them out a little bit for the Lotus? We'd like that. But anyway, this has been an amazing event. Uh, we learned a lot today. We got a new definition on understeer. Apparently, we're going to put a little lawnmower thing on the front of the car that's going to help us through that sugar cane on the other side. But all in all, it's been an amazing thing. Uh, what we have to say is uh, we've been to the event for three years. And it's been such an enjoyable event. We, we did rally elsewhere, and we just had to bring this car down here to run it. And I've, I've got to thank everybody for all the help. Paul Horton, uh, I w wouldn't be here without my teammate, Paul Horton, who uh, made sure that I got down here, and he was the guy that led the way. So Turks and Caicos is here. We're only 30 miles long. And, uh, but look, we, we're just enjoying it so much. And guys, this is the most professional club that we've experienced in the Caribbean, and, and uh, can't thank everybody enough for having us here. Yeah, I've got to say, I'm from Newfoundland, and we have an event in Newfoundland called Targa Newfoundland, which is 2,200 kilometers over a week. It's a week-long event, and everybody that comes to Newfoundland says they can't believe the hospitality of the island. My coming here makes me experience all that as well. The people have just been terrific. Uh, the roads could be better. <laughs> uh, but the car handled very well on the roads, and we're, we're quite pleased with the car, and quite pleased with how it went, and we're looking forward to having a good event next weekend. Thank you, Barbados. Thank you very much, yes.